Hey everyone, welcome back to Fromania, and welcome to the fanciest Lego recording yeah. room on the internet webs. And guess what? The first couple of videos, I wore the same shirt in every video, and here I am in the same shirt again. Me too. You're in the same shirt too. I can't get over just this duplicate attire. Today's a big day. You've been tracking our saga, I know, with bated breath. You can't sleep at night because you don't want our family to get scammed on another Lego. Do you? We were scammed on a Simpsons Lego, mm -hmm. and we've been dragging this on and on and on and on and on, and on because I know you keep tuning in going, what's gonna happen with the Lego? Today, we answer all of your questions and more because a big box showed up on our front Let's porch go. today. This box, according to the USPS tracking information that tracked it from up north to down south should be a recent eBay purchase. Let's go. And inside of this recent eBay purchase should be a 99% complete Lego Simpsons house. house. Now, when we bought this set off of Facebook Marketplace, mm -hmm. the seller, not only did they scam us intentionally or unintentionally, they just took the Lego, they sat it in a box, they taped it up, and they shipped it. It was absolutely destroyed. Let me ask you something. Have you ever shipped a package before? <laughs> it shakes and it breaks. It was shake and break, and it got to us broken. I have no idea how this set was shipped to us. We're about to crack open the box, and we're about to see just what we're up against here. I'm not gonna lie, I am so nervous right now. It's been a long saga. PayPal! did indeed take care of us. So PayPal refunded our money. We submitted a claim to PayPal. We had to wait, I think it was like 12 days, giving the seller an opportunity to defend their case. The seller didn't even reply to PayPal. So at the end of that time, it timed out and PayPal gave us our money back. Yes. But today we're sitting here with a knife that sliced Micah's finger open when exactly he was opening why. Queen Amidala, and we're about to crack open this beautifully crushed box from the USPS, the United States Postal Service, the heroes, rain, shine, snow, Not nothing really. can keep them from coming to us. We're about to crack it open and see what happens here. Thank you to the men and women of the United States Postal Service who work hard and diligently for moments like this. They may not sponsor us financially, but we sponsor them in heart. Seriously, our mailman grinds. He works hard. There's always stuff coming to us and our neighbors and other people. So I'm grateful for them. We're about to find out though, if I am grateful for this eBay purchase. Caleb, let's open a flat back. Okay, we're off to- Oh, it's packaged great. We're off to a good start here. Oh, it's individually A really wrapped. good start here. All right, let's just check out this okay. Lego. Okay, so this set did come assembled partially. It says Lego, guys. It says Lego. It we're says Lego. Everywhere. It is partially assembled. Now, I also want to brag on this seller. Yeah. Because when we were looking at the set online in uh -huh. the pictures, we no noticed a couple of elements were missing. Mm -hmm. So I sent them a message. They were able to find the missing elements yep, and include too. them in the box. But they actually shipped this house. Oh. Such. Oh. We, uh, we're broken, I... boys. We're broken. Uh, it is a broken set in the box. My only fear with that is we all know about the durability record of brown Lego. And my hope is that we don't have any broken brown pieces. Uh -oh. So far, we're looking pretty good here. It's all Lego. It, I can't believe it. It is we got legit it. Lego. The instructions are in perfect shape. Oh my Literally gosh. Literally perfect shape on oh the instructions. Word. We're going to delicately unwrap some of these things here. I'll get the garage. Delicately and carefully. Uh, some more roof elements here. Lots of roof elements. So it appears so far. Okay, so the car. That we're in good shape. Is great. The car is great. Um, yeah. Uh, inside of here, we've got the minifigs. This is cool. 
this shows you that this seller actually took care of this set. Look what's in this bag right here. We still have the original empty sticker sheet and the original empty box that Marge's skirt came out of. That means what? that this seller really took care of this set while they owned it to still have that. So I'm excited about that. Uh, the Bart Simpsons ramp, ramp. Sometimes you see people commit the cardinal sin of Lego where the sticker overlaps multiple elements. Oh. They applied that sticker straight, which is amazing. All of the uh, dining equipment is in here. What? They did tell us that they were missing a fork, but we found a fork from a Big Bang Theory set. Yep. So we're good on that. Now, this one, this is where it gets a little sketchy here. This component, sadly, did it, not make it. it did not make it. That it did was not, a good effort. It did not make the cut. You can see we're crumbled in here. It's not as bad as the We other. are definitely crumbled in here. You can see it didn't survive. Honestly, I know that that's a tough way to ship it and that you can, uh, you can wind up with broken pieces this way. But here's the deal. They didn't want to disassemble the whole thing and ship it to us. I get that. I understand. Yeah. So I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. You know what though? The set is real. It appears to be complete. Uh -huh. So we are in great shape right now. Yes. Our job now is going to be to break this down, mm -hmm. take it apart, rebuild it, and then we'll reintroduce you to the Lego Simpsons house. Ooh. Easy. This is it. We did it. We are now, I don't know, 13, 14 hours later. We uh -huh. fast forward. We hit fast forward on life, closed our eyes, opened our eyes, and we have the Simpsons Lego house now. Sweet. We did a side by side here. This is the reproduction brick Simpsons house that we got. And sitting side by side, there is such a fitment difference. Obviously, yeah. this one isn't complete. It was missing some pieces. But we wanted to sit it up here for you to yeah. see the comparison of the two. The cars, totally different weight. The pinks are a different color. You'll see this yellow color. There is no nougat in the fake brick. So they just use a yellow. So there's just some odd differences in the two. But I am so excited about the Lego Simpson house. There is not a lot of good Lego houses. I will say Lego Friends make some really cool houses. But outside of that, there's just not a lot of good house builds. Except for this. And that's part of why we always wanted this set mm -hmm. in our collection. It was very challenging to build. Not because it's a challenging build. But because anytime you buy a used set, you have to break it apart. You have to sort it. Remember, this would have come in countless bags and taken you step by step. But now we had all the brick. So we had plates spread across the kitchen, spread across the dining table, all sorted out so that we could build this. So what did we do? We put the Simpsons on the television. We started building and I finished this morning. Well, last night we made it about three quarters of the way through. Mm -hmm. This morning I woke up and finished the house and mommy built Marge's car. We had to let her build the car yes, to finish yeah. it off. Such an incredible build. I'm uh, so happy yeah. with everything about it. The roofs come off super easy. They're not studded on. There's just little like a toilet bowl. Yeah, little domes, little toilet bowl type domes that sit on the back of the roof so that when you put the roof back on, it doesn't slide at all. It just nope. stays. Perfect so on. super cool. We were taking bets on how many pieces would be missing. Caleb thought it would be 100% complete. I thought, I, thought I thought we were good. Caleb was wrong. Mm -hmm. I thought we'd be missing eight pieces. I was wrong. Mommy thought we'd be missing six six pieces, and Micah thought we would be missing five, five pieces. Well, there can only be one winner, mm -hmm. and the number was six. We were missing six pieces from the set, which is honestly unbelievable. Yeah. That this set got shipped from eBay, partially assembled to us, 
off of someone's shelf and there were only six pieces. You could tell a couple of the ones that were missing were stuff that maybe they subbed out for their own creation because it was on there in other colors. But such a cool, cool build. Mm -hmm. The garage detaches which makes it really easy to move the set around. And then the house folds open, exposing the interior on it. Mm -hmm. And once you get into the interior, there's a full detail. You've got Lisa's room, you've got Marge and Homer's room with Maggie's cradle, you've got Bart's room, you've got the iconic sofa from the opening scene. You've also got a kitchen and table and chairs. So a really cool detailed interior as you look yes. through it. Only one bathroom. I don't know how the five people managed only one bathroom in this house, but they did. Somehow they managed only one bathroom for 20 plus years of the series in which Maggie is still a baby. I know. That many years of changing diapers? What? Honestly, we've not seen any recent series, so Maggie could be grown up, and you guys are just shaking your heads at us right this, now. This is true. But this set is so cool, so detailed, so fun. It's going to be a great match to go with the Quickie Mart set. Oh, yes. The detail in it, we were talking, when LEGO did Simpson sets, they could have just done play sets, but instead yeah. they did these collector models. Mm -hmm. And they're so detailed so, and so neat. Yeah. We're already finding little Easter eggs from the few shows that we did watch. Mm -hmm. I'll say, Simpsons might not be the cleanest show out there. And I understand why when I was a kid, I didn't watch it. But there are some good values that are woven in. And if you are exposing your children to this, let it be a moment to have conversation with them, to talk to them about life, because this stuff is happening out there. So you have an opportunity to frame the conversation and to show them what's life, what's meaningful, what's good. Not some of the things that Bart says. But their writers are pretty witty, and they do have some funny lines along the way. Set came with six minifigs. It came with... Homer, it came with Marge, Bart, Lisa, Maggie, and Caleb's favorite, Mr. Flanders. Ned Flanders, which most of the items on this house seem to belong to Ned Flanders. But it's finally here. Mm -hmm. The Simpsons drama, the Simpsons saga has now come to a close. We have both sets in the house. Both are authentic Lego. Both are 100% complete. And we had so much fun telling this story and building this set with you together. Thanks for joining us yes, on another you. fun Lego build as a family. Hope you enjoy this set. If you've not picked it up, I can only imagine it's just gonna keep appreciating. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the fence about it with any retired Lego, the time to do it is now. Because what'll happen is, is the price will appreciate and then if you change your mind on it and you go, we really didn't want that. If we decide we're done with this, we can sell it. And we know that we'll at least recoup the money that we put mm -hmm. into it. And likely it will have increased even more than that as well. So we encourage you guys to go out there and keep building creatively together. Mm -hmm. Let Lego Brick be an opportunity to connect with your family, to connect with friends, and to connect with other people. Because it's just plastic if we're not using it for stuff like that. Thanks for watching with us. We encourage you to go out there, give more, do more, love more, share more, and whatever you do, remember to always show your smile. Because it's contagious. Yeah. Give more, do more, share more,